Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error you might be getting when you run Windows Update on a Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I've seen this uh, error many times on my machines that I look after at work. Uh, I've got quite a few fixes here. I've actually written an article here that I'll link to in the description so you can uh, run through this if you want. But I'm going to quickly run through what I do to fix it. So if you click on the start menu, type in services.msc and then launch this services application. And then if you scroll down to where it says Windows Update, uh, we can see here it's not running. Um, if it does say running status, just right click on there and click stop. Once that is stopped, open up um, File Explorer, go to C. Windows software distribution and we're going to have to go into data store to begin with select all of those and then just right click and delete uh, once all of those files are deleted go back to the software distribution folder double click on download and then select all of those files again and delete them uh, once those are all deleted restart your machine um, go back into Windows updates and hopefully the Windows updates will then install with no issues. Uh, if you are still getting issues, we're going to try and uh, start the MSI server service. It's possible that that is not um, starting properly. So if you click on the uh, start menu again, type in CMD, just right click and do run as administrator. Um, I just got prompted by the UAC, so if you just click yes if you do. I'm going to paste this command in uh, so it's net space start space msi server so if you just type that in and then hit on ok uh, you can see here on my machine it's not automatically started so it has just started it it says it's successful so start that service again run windows update hopefully that message won't appear uh, if it does we're actually going to scan your machine for corrupted files so again open up the command prompt as an administrator uh, type in this command chkdsk space c colon space forward slash f space forward slash r hit enter if you get prompted like this uh, just hit y enter and then restart your machine uh, what that's going to do is on the next restart it's going to run a file scan it's going to scan your file for any corrupt files and it will fix any uh, corrupt file, file corruption it finds um, so again once it's booted into windows run windows update hopefully that will go through ok again if not uh, check that you've got enough um, free space on your c drive it's recommended for Windows Update to run properly. You need to have more than 10% free. So you can see here I've got uh, lots, 130 gig free. So I've got plenty. If you are running quite close to capacity, uh, what you could do is right click on your C drive, go to properties, click on disk cleanup. Uh, this will scan your machine and it will show you what you can delete. Um, so whatever pops up here is what you can usually de delete quite safely. You can see here I've put got almost a gig's worth of data in your recycle bin. Uh, so you could go in there and manually clear it out or you could just click on this and it, it remove it. Uh, so you can, you can quite safely tick all of these boxes. Uh, if there's not too much data here you can do clean, clean up system files and it will delete um, further system files like Windows updates. So again free up this space. Uh, I recommend to restart your machine after doing that, run Windows up Update again, hopefully it'll be okay. If not, there's a built-in troubleshooter app that we can use for troubleshooting this. So if you click on Start, uh, go to the cog icon and click on Settings. Click on Update and Security. Then on the left hand side, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooters click on Windows Update and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Uh, that's going to launch the tool, just follow the prompts, restart your machine, run Windows Update again, uh, that should fix the error. If it doesn't, another thing we can do is install the update manually. Uh, so I'm just going back to my document here, I've got a screenshot of what I'm talking about. 
so here I've actually run Windows Update and it tells you exactly which update fails to install so you can see here it's KB2267602 uh, we can see there it's got the error and then the error message there so in the steps here head over to this link here so copy whatever the KB article number is paste it into there uh, then you can manually download it, save it to your machine and then manually run it and install it. Uh, once that's installed, reboot your machine, uh, install Windows Update. That update should now be installed so it should skip it and then it should install further updates. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions around this process please um, post it in a comment below and I'll help you out. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.